Okay, Google, ask Harmony to turn on the TV. All right, let's get Harmony. Turning on TV. Okay, Google, ask Harmony to change the channel to CNN. All right, getting Harmony. Tuning to CNN. Okay, Google, ask Harmony to turn off the TV. Okay, getting Harmony. Turning off TV. Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna set up the ultimate Harmony remote and hub here with my Google Home. Last week, I published a video where I set up my Harmony remote with the Amazon Alexa because the most commonly asked question on my channel is, how do I get my Alexa to turn on and off my TV? Now, if you have a Google Home instead of an Alexa, you, these instructions are for you. If you have an Alexa, please go back to my last video. I will link to it in the description field below so you can get directly to it. But this is for the guys and gals out there with a Google Home instead of an Amazon Alexa. And let's get started. Let's start with the unboxing. And here we are. We've got the remote, we've got the base for the remote, and we've got the Harmony Hub. Pull this up right here. You'll see what's underneath. So there are two power cords right here, one for the base of the remote, one for the hub. We've got uh, a package of instructions here. So this is the setup guide. And then we have uh, two IR mini blasters right here. You set up on each side of your entertainment system and one micro USB cable. So now I'm gonna set this up with my TV. I've plugged in everything. The Harmony hub is right here. The two mini IR blasters on either side of my TV. And I've got my Harmony remote on its base right here. Everything's plugged in. Next, we will download the app and get started. First thing we need to do is go to the Play Store and look for the Harmony app. And I've already installed it, but if you're doing this for the first time, you would install the app, and then you would come back to the screen, and then you would hit open. And I wanna set up a new hub. And I wanna allow the location. It says connect hub to power outlet and wait for 30 seconds. All right, so let's see if this is connecting here. And now it's scanning for a Wi-Fi networks. Now it's connecting to the hub. Uh, so now I need a software update to my remote. I'll use the micro USB cord that came with the remote and the package to go do that. I've just plugged in my Harmony remote and I'm going to go to myharmony.com. Welcome to Harmony Sign In Setup. And I've got the ultimate home because I see the picture of the remote and the hub here. And I'm going to download the software. Accept and download. Download is complete. Installing the software now. And my installation is complete. Click close. I am launching my Harmony app. Right here, I've just installed it on my computer. And I need to sign up now. Let's create an account. I'm typing in my information to create an account. Here we go, logging in again. Yay, I have successfully logged in and it's giving me a little tour of my Harmony Ultimate right here. And now I will accept and continue terms and conditions. And now I need to give my Harmony a name. I think I'm gonna go for living room. And now I'm scanning for Wi-Fi networks again. I'll select my Wi-Fi network. And I will now get my software update. I'm also being asked to confirm my email address, so I'm going to go ahead and do that on my phone while I'm waiting for the software update. Now I can continue my setup on mobile or on the computer. I'm going to choose mobile because there are more options. Next, I need to disconnect my remote from the computer and set it back on the cradle. I've just completed the PC 
software upgrade of my remote. So I had to put my remote back into the cradle and continue the setup. Starting my Harmony app again. I selected living room. Now I need to log in again. Log in and now I'm connecting. And now we're updating my account. Now it wants to get to know my Harmony Ultimate. All right. All right, info. Okay. So copy existing. I do not already own a Harmony remote, so I'm going to set up new. And it said it found a Roku 3. Next. Okay, now I can add additional devices. Add device. And I want to add an entertainment device. Put in my model number of my TV. Ah, and sure enough, it added it. Now I need to add my receiver. Press the sys info button. Press and hold the set button until the mode buttons light up. Press number one. Press the pound button. Wait for the set button to stop blinking. Press the record button. And press the select button to exit system information screen. And it says it's added. All right, excellent. So I've got my Roku, my TV, and my DVR added. All right, excellent. So these are my devices. And now I need to test my devices. All right, I just turned my TV off. Turn it back on again. And my Dish Network, I'm going to turn it off. Yep, it just went off. Turn it back on again. And then the TV's coming back on. So I've, I've, I've tested the TV and the Dish Network, and they both work. Yay! Okay. <laughs> a little bit nervous about that. Okay, let's create a watch activity. Now I'm going to mute my TV here. And my devices are on. When your TV switches input, does it skip unused inputs? No, it does not. Select the input that your TV is currently on. Select HDMI 3. Input settings. Are you able to see and hear the content coming from your Dish Network DVR? Yes. All right, let's test now. Watch TV. Syncing my changes. Turning off. Sure enough, everything goes off. And then turn on. And, okay, I think it's coming on now. I think it's working now. Yes, my TV just came on and my receiver just came on. Did my watch TV activity turn on correctly? And I'm gonna say, yes. And now I'm gonna set up my favorite channels. Okay, next. I just typed in my zip code and it retrieves all the providers in my area. I selected my provider and hit next. So I put in a few of my favorite channels now, and I'm gonna select next, saving favorites, S set starting channel for watch TV. Oh, okay, I can set my starting channel, which would be 46. And that's my activities, watch TV. When I turn on the TV, now it's going to turn it on and uh, go to channel 46. All right, so you can add more activities. My setup is complete. And when I hit exit setup, now that we've finished setting up our Harmony remote on my Harmony app, I'm going to continue with the screen record and now we're going to go into the Google Home app and you're greeted with welcome home when you or whatever you're greeted with when you open the app. Now I'm going to go into the menu, the three bars in the top left hand corner and I'm going to go explore and I'm going to search for Harmony. 
and there's an app on here that says Ask Harmony to turn on my TV. I'm going to select that and it says I need to link it. So I'm going to touch link. And then I'll need to sign into my account. And I have signed into my account successfully and now I'm going to authorize. And I can select my activities. My activities are watching TV, watching Netflix, or the Roku. So I'm going to hit next, that arrow in the top right hand corner. And then I've got my TV favorites. I'm going to go through all of those, make sure I've got friendly names for everything. And sure enough, I do. So I'm going to hit next. Uh, so now for the fun part, I'm going to touch link account. And now I can try, try it. Okay, Google, ask Harmony to turn on the TV. Okay, here's Harmony. Turning on TV. And here's the TV. Okay, Google, ask Harmony to change the channel to Peachtree TV. Okay, let's get Harmony. Tuning to Peachtree TV. Okay, Google, ask Harmony to turn off the TV. And there okay, you have it. Okay, here's Harmony. Turning off TV. And there you have it. Thanks for watching me set up my Harmony hub and remote with my Google Home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe.